Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a tour of Google Analytics. Analytics is a tool that Google released that lets you insert some code on your website that monitors all of your visitors and tells you exactly where they visit on your website, what pages they like, what pages they leave, and incredibly detailed statistics about your website. So let's get started. First of all, you want to log into your Google account. If you don't have a free Google account, just go to google.com and sign up. And then you go to the analytics page and you can create your analytics page there. Today I'm going through my AdWords account with where my analytics is set up. So let's scroll down here. And we're going to look at the death of personaldevelopment.com. It's a lead capture website I set up a little while ago. And we're going to take a look and see what kind of tra traffic I've been getting. So here we are from June 4th. So let's go back and change the date. So we actually launched this back in late April. And I'll show you what kind of traffic we've had. So let's go till June 3rd. We apply that range. So from April 29th to June 3rd, we had 4,815 visitors. As you see here, I ran some campaigns that drove traffic to the website on specific dates. And we got lots of visitors from these campaigns. So they were very successful campaigns. And it's basically a lead capture website, so there weren't many pages to visit. So they visited only 1.25 pages per visit, which my objective was to get them to opt in for a free report. Average time on the site was only 36 seconds, which is okay because I got a lot of opt-ins on this. Out of the 4,800 visitors, I had, I think, about 900 people opted in. And here's a little visitor overview. Here's a map overlay. It tells you where your visitors have come from. We'll go into detail about that later. Here's a summary of where the traffic came from. Here are the pages that they visited. See, I drove people to the main page, which is the whole objective of my campaigns. And on my goals, here's a quick summary. Here we had 34, 58. So we'll do a detailed report on that as we go through this video. So let's go by the visitors here. Get a quick summary of where the visitors came from. So here you get some great statistics on where they come from, how long they stay, the bounce rate, 85% of people came and left, which is fine with me because I, they opted in. That was my whole objective. Here you can see what kind of browser they use, primarily Firefox, some Internet Explorer, and then we got into the Safari, some Mac users here. Tells you also they came in cable, DSL, or dial-up, or T1. Almost all of the users that came to the site were on high-speed internet. Only 289 were on dial-up. That's great to know. Let's take a look at the map and see where my visitors came from. Most of the campaigns I ran were from North America, so obviously most of the visitors came from the Americas. And you can just hover over all the different continents and see exactly how many visitors you got. Let's just drill down into the Americas and see what kind of traffic I got. Let's go North America. And we've got most of our visitors from the U.S. So let's drill down in the U.S. a little deeper. Yeah, most of my visitors came from California, so let's just take a look here. Now look at the detail you get on this. This is exactly where the people came from. Very powerful. A lot of people from Southern California, Los Angeles area. So you can drill all the way down and see exactly what IP address the people who are that came from, exactly what town they came from. Incredible information for your marketing. Take a look at traffic sources now. 
So here we had direct traffic, referring sites, search engines. Since this was a brand new site and I just ran some campaigns, hitsforpay.com is where most of my visitors came from. I did some pay-per-click. Here's the results here, 66 visitors from that. I made some posts in a forum, got 35 visitors from there. Over here, we see exactly what keywords people search to find me. Considering it was a brand new site, and within two weeks, I was getting people finding me in the search engines, that's great to know exactly what keywords they're finding me for. So I can create some new campaigns and drive people to the sites using free traffic from the search engines. Here's the content. This is exactly what pages they came to. They said before, I drove people to this main home page. That's where we want people to opt in. And then later on, I follow up with some emails that drove them to these other pages. So after the, they opted in, I drove people to these secondary pages. And here you can tell exactly what pages people go to, where they landed, because the top landing pages. It also tells you exactly what pages they left on. So if people are coming to your site and leaving on certain pages, you can correct those problems on that exit page and hopefully get them to buy something there or to keep them on your site longer. And here's our goal tracking. You can set conversion goals here and track and see how successful you are at driving people to your site and converting them, not just getting them to your site. So I had a 3.93 conversion rate, and I did a lot of experimenting with this. So some days I converted 33%, made some changes trying to improve that, and drove traffic from different sources, and then had a 30% conversion rate. So what I would go back and look and see on those successful days, where I was driving traffic from, what pages I drove them to, and what offer I was making to them, and try to improve on that. And that's a, gr a little summary of Google, at Google Analytics. If you want to learn more information, go to www.netbizexpert.com. It's N-E-T-B-I-Z-E-X-P-E-R-T.com. Thanks a lot.